Hello, hello everyone. Today I want to talk with you about something that I had to learn on my journey of building self-esteem. About something that really helped me build strong self-esteem. About one simple thing I needed to do in order to have strong self-esteem, healthy self-esteem. And I wish someone in my family, my parents, uh, in school taught me this easy thing. So my childhood and my adulthood could be and feel more happier. And who knows, maybe if I would knew this thing, this simple thing, I wouldn't struggle with depression and uh, anxiety. The simple yet powerful thing I had learned is about learning to be my own best friend forever. Most of the time, me, people, kids who struggle with low self-esteem are paying attention to the things that we are not pleased with, we are not satisfied with, with the things that we can't do, that we aren't good. This is what we focus on. This is what children, this is what people with low self-esteem are focusing on. People, children with low self-esteem don't pay attention to the things that they are good at that they have accomplished and because of this they never can be happy they can't feel confident they can't feel valuable and because of this they have negative uh, a negative view of themselves learning to be your own best friend is about to love yourself accept yourself just the way that you are it is all about self-acceptance. This is the most important thing a person needs to do in order to build strong, healthy self-esteem. I was always hard on myself than I was on other people. Always thinking about myself that I'm not smart enough. I can't do things. I'm not good enough. I can do things right. I always thought that to be good enough, I have to do this, then I have to do that, and then I have to do that. But I never was satisfied. I never felt good enough. The strange thing is that I never treated my friends that way. It was the opposite. I would always encourage my friends, always tell them nice things, show them how good they are, always help them to lift themselves up. I was that supporting friends, supporting friends, always be next to them, celebrate their accomplishment, but never could that for myself. I had learned this important thing to love and accept myself only when I was in depression. And this was in my adulthood when I became a mother. But thinking back of all those years in my childhood, where I didn't felt good enough, where I didn't felt smart enough, where I always felt inferior to others, it makes me feel so sad because all these years could be totally different, could be with more joy, more happiness, less stress, less worries, if I knew how to love and accept myself just the way that I was. When I found out this simple thing, this simple trick that helped me build my self-esteem, uh, I decided to um, stop putting others always before me, to stop treat others nice and put myself down. I decided to stop doing things just to please others. And when I did that, I lost some friends, but this is another story. It wasn't easy when I started this journey, but with practice, I made it. I learned to treat myself kindly to think that I am a, I am as value as everyone that I deserve good things I with practice I became my own supporter and eventually this self-love uh, this uh, self-esteem pushed me to even have dreams which never happened pushed me to have dreams and one of my dreams was to become a wisdom coach to help children learn this skills, learn these simple things so that they don't have to live years with these negative thoughts, negative feelings, so that they could have a happy childhood, live a happy childhood. I wanted to share this with you to, 
to let you know that anyone, but anyone can learn the same thing, that anyone can learn how to stop having negative feelings, negative thoughts about themselves, how to stop uh, pleasing others, how to start to love and accept themselves just the way that they are. Now, let me share with you some of the things that helped me in this journey in becoming my own best friend forever. Well, the first thing is positive self-talk. I had to learn to be aware the way that I talk to myself and change it every time when was negative to shift from negative to positive, to shift from disempowering to empowering. I had to learn uh, to catch myself when I say negative um, things to myself that were putting me down to stop in that moment and shift them. I had to learn to talk to myself the way I will talk to my best friend. The second thing I learned was to treat myself with kindness. Anytime I was making a mistake, every time when I was failing at something, to appreciate the effort, to appreciate the actions instead of the results. I stop looking for perfections. I start accept that to accept that I'm not a superwoman, that I'm just a normal person and everyone makes mistakes sometimes. I stop putting pressure on myself to beat myself up, to, to beat myself up and stop to be more uh, and do more that I could do in a short period of, the, of time. To stop putting pressure on myself and punish myself put pressure on myself when I couldn't achieve what I was expecting to achieve, when things weren't going exactly the way I planned. I learned to forgive myself instead of beating myself up. I started to celebrate the small accomplishments, to celebrate the things that I was succeeding, even the small things. I started to be proud of myself. Also, what I learned in this journey, it was to take care of myself. I started to set a time for myself when I do only the things that I, I knew would make me happy, that uh, the things that I would uh, love instead of waiting from others to give me joy, to lift me up. I was doing all these things that helped me to become happier, healthy, confident, and the most important to achieve my dream. I wanted to share this things um, and with the hope that it might help someone. Now, please leave me in the comment box your answer if you would like. Um, share if you are hard on yourself or are you your own best friend? Learning to be your own best friend is the most important relationship you will ever have in your life. This is what I teach children. The person you see in the mirror is the same person that is going to stay with you for the rest of your life. All of you deserve to live happy and achieve your dreams and only you can make this happen. I hope this video inspires someone that helps someone get starting on loving yourself a little bit more. Have a wonderful and peaceful day.